data center 1, data center 2, data center 3, data center 4, data center say 5. Be round robin, it is round robin. Okay. I'll run the simulation. See, simulation has not yet started. What it is showing? Directory is created. So go inside this, you'll see in directory which we have deleted has been created, but there is no file. So, no file has been created at the beginning. Okay. I'll be selecting what. I will go inside this directory. See, there is still no files, huh? and this is running in the background. So, because it is running in the background, I can move it around. Okay. It is now balancing your files into different data centers. So, it has to equally distribute the load amongst different data centers. Once the simulation is completed, if you see this, so through the entire simulation process, it is going to distribute your load. Okay? Can you see almost all the files are of equal size? And that is the extra data that was remaining. Okay. So you cannot always give the exact balance. You know, something will be remaining that will be put inside any of the data centers. Okay. But interestingly, can you see all the chunks are of almost equal size? A variation of hardly some cases for a big data, some difference of KBs doesn't matter, right? So how do you understand how these files are? You see here, you have values. There are eight data centers in here. Huh. By taking this also, it should uh, equally distribute. This. Hey, it should distribute. That much uh, file was not there. See, whenever you are dividing the data, mm -hmm. okay. Once you are dividing the data, you are giving a round robin policy, okay. So it will try to keep on loading the files, okay. Suppose it has divided the chunks. Divided the chunks into how many pieces? Divide the chunks into say eight pieces. Mm -hmm. It will keep on allocating the data center. However, in the process of your simulation there might be some switches to other data center there may, might be some cases where virtual machine could not have been allocated so in rarest of the case see if every data center would be really getting equal number of chunks you would not require any simulation right you can directly divide the files using a file splitting software and give it to map mm -hmm. your meaning of simulation is because you are giving several data centers some data centers might be lost some data center may get little bit of more data. So all the data centers are not uh, 350 KB. Okay. Some will be getting little more data. Some will be getting little lesser data. But it is going to try to schedule it appropriately in most of the parts. Okay. So four eight seven eight two milliseconds for uh, this thing balancing time. No doubt. That is 48.782 seconds. And rebalancing time is 6.441 seconds. They are in milliseconds. Okay. So if you look at your paper, rebalancing time is much lesser than balancing time. Okay. However, remember, if your number of jobs are very less, there might be cases where rebalancing time is more than the balancing time. Why? See, if you are trying to compress a 10 KB data, compression will be almost similar to your normal data only. There is no compression, but it will take more time. Okay. So, 
Now, once this is done, you can open up the files and you can check out. This is starting from K. Only this much was remaining, it is put in over there. Okay. The rest all are been balanced amongst all the nodes. And why this is so is, see if you look at this performance, you have placed the data center into different regions. It will try to send the data center, I mean to the closest data center. Any data center which is far away will be always getting the least amount of data. So whichever data center was far away, that will be getting least amount of data. Now, this should have gone through a MapReduce process where I am supposed to get the output I am get supposed to get the output in part that is out folder if you open this right click open open with wordpad So this is how your map with reduce interface has worked. At the same time you can see your whole map reduce process being carried out over here. When it was taking up a file, how it was matching up at what instance of time it was taking up what is the total file record what is the map output bytes what is the total reduce of the input record okay so this is the whole fundamental principle of Now how your map reduce gets worked? I have already said you in order to see the map reduce, nothing but you have to check out in the GUI folder. Where is it? In your GUI folder you have this word counter.java. This word counter.java is the job which takes the help of mapper and reducer to reduce the file 